Motorists in Britain have been handed a £50 Brexit bonus on their insurance bills thanks to historic EU lawnmower directive red tape being scrapped. Transport Secretary Grant Shapps has confirmed that motorists will have around £50 less on their insurance bills after legislation was passed to cancel an EU directive made before Brexit was completed. The directive would have forced insurance to be paid on vehicles on private land and would have included driven lawn mowers and chapters. Mr. Shapps posted a video about the move which cancelled EU law made as a result of an accident by a Slovenian farmer called Vienic in 2007 when he was knocked off his ladder. Mr. Vienic was not the only casualty of that unfortunate accident, said Mr. Shapps. Because it resulted in an absurd new European law costing every motorist a compulsory premium for vehicles driven on private land. So that meant because of a chance event on a European farm all those years ago that you the British motorist would be expected to pay for golf buggies, quad bikes or ride on lawn mowers. But now thanks to Brexit we have been able to ditch the Viennic law. The legislation came as a result of a private member's bill put down by veteran Brexiteer Tory MP Peter Bone. Mr Bone, who ran the grassroots out campaign operation during the referendum in 2016, said, this is really good news for everyone and shows that we are already getting a Brexit dividend. The rejoiners are all saying that it is all negative but there are already lots of bonuses. We need to, to talk more about the good things which are already happening. Jacob Rees-Mogg has been appointed by Boris Johnson as the Minister for Brexit Opportunities to find more ways of getting rid of EU red tape and cut costs for the British people. He has already had thousands of responses with ideas from the public on making life smoother for businesses. In an interview Mr. Rees-Mogg told Express.co.uk Government is not the centre of all knowledge and wisdom. Actually there is a much greater wisdom with the British people as a whole. That is why I am so keen for the British people to tell me what it is in their daily life that the government does that makes their life harder. If I can, I will push to get rid of that. You can email Mr. Rees Mogg with ideas on public correspondence at cabinetoffice.gov.uk or send by mail to Jacob Rees Mogg, Cabinet Office, 70, Whitehall, London SW1A2AS.